Yes, be welcomed. This is episode 7, and I'm uh, walking here. Snowy. We've had, uh, yeah, it's been some snowy days in Stockholm, Sweden. And, uh, yeah, this night, well, tonight, the snow really, I was about to say rain down. What the hell, man? But anyways, um... Yeah, man, it's been snowing hardcore, and uh, uh, the buses are canceled. No buses going home, so I usually take the bus and then take the subway home, but right now I'm taking a walk here, and I'm heading for the, uh, the train. Um, if that one doesn't work, I'll head for the subway, heading into town, and then, you know, into the suburbs, because I work on one side of town and live on the other so that's that but anyways let's see I am um, I was hoping that I'd have some topics ready to go when I'd record but I'm thinking I mean if I'm walking for half an hour if I'm walking for half an hour I uh, you know might as well do the best of it and just basically freeze to death while recording <laughs> so let's see patch 5.1 is out um, came out last week. I'm still a couple of episodes behind when it comes to uh, um, uploading these episodes. Um, uh, this weekend I uploaded the fourth episode, so the fifth should be up uh, today or tomorrow. I would hope for today, since tomorrow my work schedule is really dark, um, and I won't be getting home anytime soon tomorrow so it would be better to make it happen today but since the traffic is the way it is I'm not counting on getting home anytime soon either so who knows uh yeah but anyways this is episode 7 and focus lies on raiding uh, let's see with the patch here um, the guild hasn't raided for let's see three weeks so it's Wednesday today so we'll see if something goes down on uh, Friday or Saturday. Uh, we've, we've been having some attendance issues and I haven't been able to come on as well. So, uh, yes, uh, but <laughs> yeah, man, it's all over the place and it's slow. I mean, it's kind of depressing walking here. Um, so let's see, with the patch, there's been some changes to the BM Hunter, some changes to the Marksman, and uh, not many changes to survival, because, I mean, I mean, the, the big change, the, the buff, is we can cast Steady Shot and Cobra Shot on the move. Great stuff. You know, as a hunter, that's, that's freaking awesome. Uh, um... There's some other things, I won't really get into that. I mean, you can always listen to whichever podcast you listen to, and they will talk about the news. I do this my way, uh, but that's really, really good thing. And I'm still, I'm still sticking to the, uh, the BM, Beast Mastery spec. Uh, I don't feel like going survival. And Marksman is just one of those specs that I won't, I won't touch it. You know, I, I don't really care. Um, I'd, I'd like to stick to Beast Mastery and Survival. Uh, I'm not a pet collector, although I, there, I mean, there are some pets that I did go out and kill. Well, actually, tame, sorry. Uh, like, with my little buddy Locke. <laughs> I can't even pronounce his name. Locke Nahawk. Uh, I, I dubbed him Locke. That's what I renamed him to, so. Renamed him to. Anyways, and uh, that's cool. Wow, this really isn't working out at all. Um, what else, man? You know what? I don't really have a fucking topic to talk about, so fuck this. This ain't making it. Uh, fuck it. I'm out.
I'm still out there walking. Uh, I listened to the first part that I recorded. And uh, it's not worse than I thought, but it's not better than I thought either. So, I mean, I don't know. Um, the way we'll do it is I'll listen to what I record and then I'll come up with a topic. So this episode might be very, very choppy. But uh, I'm thinking, I mean, that's what it takes to complete this episode. And that's what it takes, you know. So, anyways, um, Beast Mastery is very uh, cooldown dependent. And my uh, favorite pro hunter, um, let's see, wrong side, my favorite pro hunter, uh, Creparian, uh, has broken down the, the BM spec. He has a guide up, I think it's called like BM Hunter Guide Mop. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm not taking this train. It's uh, they're saying there's tons of delays, so I'll walk on to the subway and see if I can take that home. It'll take a while, but I mean, come on. Um, so that's that. But no, I mean, um, yeah, Beast Mastery is very, very cool down dependent, and uh, I know that I there's an earlier episode where I mentioned this. But, uh, I mean, repeating it doesn't really hurt, so... The thing with Beast Mastery is, you... You get your cooldowns going. You got the opener, the BM opener. Uh, your little sequence where you mash buttons, and hopefully you... You mash them in a sequence that makes your DPS skyrocket. Uh, this is something that I'm working on. And... Funny thing, I uh, I haven't had as much playtime. I mean, the past three weeks, I've really not played much at all. I think I've done one LFR, um, and not really done much else. I'm gonna work on Jeeves, get a hold of that fucking bot, because I really need. Uh, I need. Uh, yeah, I'm an engineer or my hunter, and I wanna I wanna make sure I have Jeeves. Um, and that's not, I mean, it's not really, it's not a must-have priority, but, I mean, if I really can't play, and I'm not, like, living an alt or whatever, I mean, I might as well do something that, that benefits the raid or me or, you know, something. Uh, let's see here. So, I'm gonna go for G's. I need the different, because there's, like, a, a kit, two repair bots, and something something and I got a scrapbook when I was in Storm Peaks farming some um, some mobs so what I'll do is uh, I will try and get a hold of those scrap bots craft them because you need like 10 10 or something and then you need a, a scrap thing and then I don't know I would even list it here but Jeeves is a, is a great robot he is not consumed and I remember when I used the last two charges of my repair bot I was like Damn, man, will this fucker disappear? Like, really? Will he? And he did. You know, my little repair bot disappeared. And I didn't really use him that much. But, I mean, you know, he was a good old buddy of mine. And the mats were annoying to get. But, I mean, uh, my goal is I'm up 76k right now or something. Uh, and I'm out of the cooking addiction. I mean, I do check prices every now and then, but I'm not really... Too hardcore into that, so uh, yeah. What else? Uh, damn, man, I'm not sure about the road here, or am I? Fuck, hole. No, never mind. It's cool. It's cool. I got it. Um, yeah. So let's see. No, but with the opener, with the BM opener, uh, there is. There's been tons of discussions with hunters going back and forth on what's the real thing and whatever, you know, like which rotation is the best. And I was listening to, must have been Convert to Raid, not sure, but I think it is. Might have been uh, the Hunting Party podcast as well, when I think of it. 
which it probably was. And there was a discussion between two hunters. Right now, I don't re remember the names, so I will not even mention them. But uh, one of the hunters came from, uh, he's from the guild Pie Chart, which is a progression guild, and the other hunter is from Blood Legion. And uh, the guy from Pie Chart made a video and uh, posted it on MMO Champion. So this guy from Blood Legion comes in and he's, uh, you know, giving his two cents and they go back and forth. And uh, the hunter from Pie, the hunter, the hunter from Pie Chart changes his rotation up a bit after making that video. So looks like it was a good discussion. Um, I haven't really, I've chosen not to read it. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it could be good stuff, but I mean, uh, if I'm on the way home, I usually just, you know, pop a podcast and start snoozing, you know. Uh, I mean, it takes an hour to get home, so keeping my, my mind, like, very um, occupied and, and, like, reading stuff, like, hardcore. I mean, the, I, it's things that I, don't, I choose not to do when I'm on my way home. Uh, it, of course, it depends on energies and stuff, but, I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so th that's that. No, but anyways, with, with the BM opener, I, w I won't even tell you what to do. Uh, but I can tell you the basic thing, which is you basically pop every single cooldown you have and you, you pop them in such an order so that uh, you... Like, if, if I'm... Let's say I uh, I I got... Never mind that. <laughs> I mean, there's no point because I'll just say it wrong anyways. Especially since I don't have it down myself, so never mind that. But anyways, with the BM opener, I got some practice on the target dummies. Not as much as I want at all, but I got some practice. <laughs> Did it a couple times. It's less than 10, uh, most definitely, in total. And um, when, I went to, when, uh, when I went to the LFR, I noticed that my, uh, my DPS uh, actually had increased. And my, I mean, my eye level, I'm still, I think I've said 470, but uh, what I have on is 469. Uh, so I could equip and, you know, because I got this trinket when we, di when we did uh, Mogishan, but uh, my LFR trinket from Elegon is still better. The Bottle of Infinite Stars, I think is the name. So I've been sticking to that one instead. And the funny part was uh, when I got into the LFR, I would usually, because there's like three different plateaus, I guess you could say, well, I mean, your numbers hover in, in different ways, um, depending on your gear and your skill levels, and it's funny because I can see, I was um, top of the parse, and I actually world of logged it just to, because I'm going to dig into the, like, what I did and whatever, and what worked, uh, and what I can do for the next time when we do it on normal. Um, but I, I really tried to make sure that I had, I mean, as an example, with the Dire Beasts, um, with the ads, if you pop it, um, I mean, you can pop it so that when you get out of that spirit totem thing, um, like when you get out and you got this uh, spiritual intervention or intervention or whatever the hell that name is, you know, that buff you get, which just increases your mastery, crit, and pace, I think? I don't know. Anyways, it helps you with DPS uh, by a ton. And what I did was I would go into the spirit realm um, and I would have popped, I would like pre-pop the Dire Beast one because I would know that, okay, I need to be out before 30 seconds once I go in. And the timer is, it starts, um, it's 30 seconds, uh, like, from when you get in. So it doesn't really matter how long the totem has been up. As long as you have a healer inside there that can heal you up or whatever so you can get out. But I mean, in the other part, it just seems like you get that button regardless. So anyways, I was in there and uh, I would stay in there and then I would pop out. And as soon as I pop out, I would be pretty ready to use diabetes. And that would help with the uh, spiritual intervention, spiritual intervention buff. And I mean, sometimes you'd have these wrap up and you'd have a uh, rapid fire and you know, other things. And uh, one thing that I've been thinking about, which I've been really trying to come to terms with, 
against me. Stack it on rapid fire and be sure rap. Uh, what be sure rap does is it lowers the focus cost of the shot. So, now I'm not saying this to Pro Hunter. I don't even do two tips. I don't keep track of things. I don't, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying this as I'm walking. So, if things are wrong, so be it. You know, the rest of it should be great. But, um, so with Bestial Rap, if you pop that, the cost uh, of your shots is decreased. So, popping Rapid Fire at the same time uh, makes you regen focus a lot faster since it increases your haste. Um, and your, it's like your range haste. It, it does not increase your pet, pet's focus or anything like that or regen. But anyways, so what you want to do is if you do pop uh, Beast Your Wrath and Rapid Fire at the same time, the one time you want to do that is in the opener before you use readiness because once you have readiness used you can then uh, you can then line it up so that you use your let's say use the I mean the beast of wrath comes up every minute so let's say you pop that pop that pop that and then when rapid fire is good to go when you when you're popping your fourth beast of wrath I mean since you have the readiness used um, what you can do is you use your Beast of Wrath and hopefully you have your Dire Beast good to go at that time. Uh, with Lynx Rust, that really, with Lynx, really, wow. Am I cold? Is that it? I had an issue talking and uh, I know I'm breathing heavily now because I'm fucking walking in the snow here. Sounds like I'm fucking mountain climbing. Whew. Yeah, this is the mountain episode. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, the thing is, you uh, if you have the Dire Beast, good to go, you pop that, pop Beast Your Wrath, and you want to pop uh, Dire Beast before you pop Beast Your Wrath, and because uh, it helps with the regen, and um, and the Lynx Rush, I mean, sometimes, since the cooldown is a bit longer, uh, you might or you might not be lucky with that, but I mean, with... The way that uh, Coltrane said it on Convert to Raid, which is a great simple tip, it's, I mean, it's just the fact that if you've got cooldowns, damage cooldowns, use them. I mean, if you know that you've got to move, like, um, let's say uh, I'm on Spirit Kings and I, I got a chance, to, you know, my cooldowns are up and I'm like, okay, fuck it, I'm going. You know, if I pop them and I know that flanking orders is, is, is coming in within five, ten seconds, that might not be the best time to pop those cooldowns. You know, you might be better off popping those cooldowns when you, uh, when the flanking orders are over and you stack on boss or whatever. Because uh, you wanna, when you pop cooldowns, you wanna have a, oh shit, you wanna have your, uh, uh, what's that called? Like, uh, yeah, like nuke moment. I can't really express myself right now because I was falling off the pavement here. Uh, yeah, but it's, I mean, it's, it's interesting, man. There's a lot of intricacies. I like this whole thing with BM right now. It's, it's, it's fun to dig into the details and try and understand bits and pieces. And I'm also trying to do it from a perspective where I'm, I'm not trying to master everything at once. So the fact that I'm talking about this right now um, is actually adding to my own understanding because I can easily tell, like, okay, when I talk about this, I feel pretty certain about what the hell I'm talking about. I'm going to talk about that. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a blank. And then I, I'm like, okay, cool. Now look into that. And that's another thing with these recordings. I mean, and the, the blog, our well, gold blog. I mean, it's... Uh, most people that have heard of me, they know me from gold making because that's what I did in Kata. But, uh, I mean, if you look at Gevlon, Greedy Goblin, uh, that's his blog. I mean, if you if you look at those kind of players and uh, stone pile you have players that will they will do whatever they feel like and their blog will follow um, stone pile he was awesome I mean I, I really enjoyed his blog great stuff um, 
And I, and I will, well, sorry. Am I saying stone pile? What the hell, man? Stockpile. S-T-O-K-P-I-L-E. Stockpile, not stone pile. Come on, man. Shit. It's like a goddamn bone storm. <laughs> uh, so sorry about that. That was a stone pile. That's, that was not an, uh, an intended pun or joke or whatever you want to call that. That was a mistake. Bad, bad on my part. But anyways, with stockpile, um, the thing there was uh, he, he went to Rift. You know, he was doing gold making. And I think it was up two mil, and then he got bored. He just felt that cataclysm was was boring, and he just, you know, he went over to Rift, and I stopped following what he wrote by then. But I mean, I can still check up on his blog every now and then. But as it seems, and I mean, I haven't been there for months now, but I don't think that he's updated anything there for a while. And since I'm talking about him, I might as well check that out so that I know. But um. I'll link to his site. I will uh, make sure that you can see it. I mean, because even if you, even if you're uh, playing World of Warcraft in Myths now, I mean, he he's written stuff that's that's good to know, like principal things. He has like these. He was awesome with his enchanting lists, and uh, he was really. I, I, I liked his. I liked his blog, man. I really did. Um, and I mean, this is something that I really believe in too. In, you know, supporting people. I really believe in uh, showing support to the people that I think do good stuff, and I can overly do it. But I mean, uh, I mean, not from my own perspective, but I mean, other people might think that I am, and I don't really mind, man. Because uh, what I'm thinking is, I mean, someone's got to give props what props is due. You know, no more, no less. If something's damn good, fuck it, man. I'll tell you. Uh, so, anyways. To get back to the whole thing that I was talking about is, um, you, you might know me from gold making, and uh, you might have followed the blog or not, doesn't really matter, but I mean, and you might be like, okay, cool, but Grace, what about the gold making? And the thing there, this is something I mentioned before too, is, I mean, I, I don't really care that much about gold making, you know? I'm, I'm the kind of person that I set up a goal, I reach it, or I don't reach it, because the goal might change. And, uh, or my motives might change, whatever, and, uh, I mean, you know, when that happens, you know, I gotta believe, you know, I gotta believe in what I do. I will not stick to gold making just for the sake of, yeah, but I got this blog, and I had this amount of readers, and I got, fuck that shit, man, I'll do what I feel like. And that's what I like with, uh, other people that do what they feel like, and that's why I mentioned Stockpile, because he, he does what he believes in. And same thing with Greedy Goblin, you know, Geblon, he does what he believes in. And, uh, I mean, uh, I'm not saying that as a, as a way to, like, I'm licking some nuts here, or I'm doing it because they do it. I mean, I'll do this regardless, you know, I, I do what I do. And that's the way that I've always done it, and I'll keep on doing it. And, I mean, if I'm into rating now, that's what I'll do, and talk about, and write about, and, um... Especially if I've made it like a goal to become a better player. I mean, it's an awesome way to learn because you you talk about what you want to learn about. You you talk about the ideas. You write about whatever you see that might be interesting. Uh, you ask questions. You I mean, there's tons of things you can do, and it's a process, man. It's a learning curve. It's not like, hey, I mean, and I'm taking it to Lore now with his um, rate awareness. He has this uh, weekly marmot. Go check that out. Good stuff. I do not check them weekly. I uh, what I do is I get a hold of the episodes that I come by, and I'm like, okay, cool. This one's really great, and I'll just watch the hell out of that episode um, and really try to master it or like make it like internalize it and make it into a part of myself. Cause it is. Oh, wow. Sorry, man. I gotta. I mean. Uh, it all comes down to mindsets. That's what it is. Like, gold making requires one mindset. Raiding requires another. PvPing is yet another mindset. I mean, it's all mindsets. That's what it is. And uh, for me to become the best I can within these realms while also enjoying what I'm doing, um, I mean, it requires me to, to get into the minds of other people that do it, you know? I mean, that's how you learn. So that's cool. 
Right, so I'm uh, at the subway now. I've been talking for I don't know how long. So I'll get back to you guys. It's been an awesome run. Uh, it started out really, really slow. Um, still stuff to talk about, but time flies. So I'll get back to you guys. Um, and episode 7 isn't over yet, I think. I don't know. We'll see.